Hello from Raleigh, North Carolina. If this is your first time joining me, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to give you some information you're not going to find anywhere else on YouTube. This channel is all about telling you what's going on in the housing market in Raleigh, North Carolina. Every single week, I'm going to be presenting you with the information about the active listings in the area. And if you're a return viewer, you're going to be happy to find out that I have added to the list of cities that I will be covering. So not only will I be covering Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Cary, and Wake Forest, but this week I've added to the list Apex, Fuquay, Holly Springs, Clayton, and Garner. So we have a lot to cover, and you're going to want to stay until the very end on this video because I have two special surprises for you. Number one, I'm going to tell you two tips, insider tips, on how to present a strong offer in this very competitive market, and then I'm also going to be sharing with you the closed data over the last three months telling you exactly how much over the listing price these homes are closing for. So before I get started, I want you to look at the bottom of your screen. I want you to find that red bell and I want you to click it to subscribe to my channel because you are not going to want to miss every single week as we watch this market change. So as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be looking at the active inventory. What's going on in the market today? What can you buy? How much does it cost? How fast is it selling? And how many homes are exactly for sale? Now, keep in mind that we are not looking at new construction. We are only looking at resale homes. The first slide for every town is going to be the low, average, and high. So in Cary, you can see the low is 250,000. The average is 866 and the high is 9 million. This is the only time we're gonna be looking at averages in this market. In the next slide, we're gonna be looking at the median and that's because our lows and our highs are so far apart that they skew the data a bit. So moving on to the next screen, you can see that the median days on market for Cary is two days. The median price is 582,000. We have 56 active listings, and the price per square foot is 243000 In Chapel Hill, the low is 121000 the average is 984 and the high is $4.7 million. Our median days on market in Chapel Hill is only three. The price is 685000 We have 64 active listings and 272 price per square foot. In Durham, our low is 130,000. Our average is 477 and our high is 6.2 million. We have four days on market with a median price of 365,000, 174 active listings and a price per square foot of 230. In Raleigh, we're showing 170,000 for the low, 641,000 for the average and 5.5 million on the high side. We have three days on market, a median price of $446. We have 259 active listings and $224 a square foot, which is up a couple of bucks from the last month. In Wake Forest, we have a low of $175, an average of $659, and a high of $2.2 million. And we're showing three days on market, a median price of $553, which is a bit of a jump from last week. 44 active listings, active price per square foot is $213, which is about $10 more per square foot. Moving into our new cities that we're starting to cover, we have Apex, North Carolina, with a low of $330,000, an average of $804, and a high of $2.8 million. Median days on market is only two, with a median price of $575. We have 41 active listings, and the active price per square foot is $243. In Holly Springs, you can get a place for $140,000 with an average of $528 and a high of $950. And we are once again showing two days on market, median price of $505,000, only 16 active listings in Holly Springs, and a price per square foot of $205. In Clayton, you can get a home for $175,000. The average is $450,000 and the high is $1.3 million. We have three days on market in Clayton as well, with a median price of 415,000, 70 active listings, and $180, $186 a square foot. 
And finally in Garner, you can get something for 165,000 with the average being 402 and the high of 925. In Garner, we are showing only three days on market, a median price of 385,000. We have 28 active listings and the price per square foot is $192. And in Fuqua, you can get a house for $220,000. An average is $559 with a high of $2.2 million. Once again, we see a trend. Two days on market in Fuqua, a median price of $446. We have 30 active listings and the price per square foot is $214. So now we're going to look at the graphs that we have been looking at every single week. Um, to see how the trends are shaping up. Now keep in mind, this is only Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Cary, and Wake Forest, which we've been watching for the last two months. Um, and we are on March 20th, 2022. Our days on market are low. Across the board, no matter where you wanna live in this town, you have got to act quickly because homes are selling quickly, usually within five days. Our median price per square foot has been fairly stable with Wake Forest right here, seeing a pretty good jump and everything else very stable. Our active number of listings, you can't really tell from this chart. It looks like it's kind of the same, but we have an extra 40 listings this week on the market and that's pretty significant. It's about 8% increase this week. And our price per square foot is inching up in Wake Forest in particular with the rest of the towns uh, staying fairly stable. Uh, Chapel Hill's a little bit more erratic in general um, and it's also in the top part of the budget. So before we look at the closed sales, I wanna give you two insider tips on how to put a very competitive offer in this market. The number one thing I wanna to talk to you about is the list price. And I wanna tell you not to be distracted by the list price of a home when you're considering what you might want to offer. You need to keep in mind that the listing agent has used the closed sales over the last two to three months uh, to determine what the list price of the house should be. And we have a lot of pending homes that haven't closed yet in the last three to four weeks. And with our market changing as quickly as it is, um, we expect to get multiple offers and we expect to get multiple offers significantly higher than the asking price. We've seen houses go for $100,000 to $150,000 over asking price. And I don't tell you that to scare you. I'm just telling, me, telling you that you need to figure out what the house is worth to you. And that's how you should be basing your offer instead of being distracted by the list price. For example, let's say your budget's $500,000 and you look at a house that's four fifty. dollars If that house is better than anything else you've seen at $500,000, then instead of saying, I'm going to offer thirty or forty thousand dollars over the list price. You need to figure out what that house is worth to you, because there's a lot of pending sales in the pike right now that could affect what that house actually appraises for. So don't be distracted by the list price that the agent assigns to the house. The second thing I want to tell you is to not be your own enemy. So when the when the listing is calling for highest and best offer, that's what you need to do. You need to give your highest and best offer. A lot of times buyers start second guessing what they're gonna do and they start trying to guess what's gonna happen in the market and they'll say, oh, well, the house is listed for 600,000 and so I should be able to get it for like 665 or 675 um, and their budget might be 700,000. But because they're looking at the list price of the house, they might be, thinking of offering less than what their best is. And so my advice to you is to give a number that you're comfortable with losing. For example, if your budget is 700,000 and the house is 600 and you offer 675, are you going to be disappointed that you did not win that house? And when you see that house close for 680, only $5,000 more than you offered, are you gonna be okay with that knowing that you gave your best offer? So if the answer is yes, you're good to go. But if the answer is no, this is not a market to be wishy-washy in. Give your best offer, both in purchase price and in due diligence. So now I'm going to share my screen and we're going to talk about exactly how much these homes are selling for over the listing price so you can be better prepared when you put in your next offer. The way we're going to do this is we're going to break our price point down into three groups. We're going to do under 399, we're going to do 400 to 800, and then we're going to do the luxury market, which is 800 and higher. 
We are looking only at the last 30 days, February 20th through March 20th. And you can see all the cities down below on my chart. Cary, Chapel Hill, Durham, Raleigh, Wake Forest, Apex, Holly Springs, Clayton, Garner, and Fuquay. And in parentheses, what I'm telling you is the number of homes that closed in that city that were averaged together to determine how much over the listing price the home sold for. So for example, in Cary, we had 18 homes. And it looks like they sold for an average of $15,000 over the asking price if they were listed under $399,000. So you can see Chapel Hill was maybe about $5,000 over. Apex was $30,000 over. And that's based on 12 sales. So moving into the $400,000 to $800,000 price point. Now the bulk of our listings are gonna fit into this category. And this is our most desirable hot market that we have. Um, you can see that consistently we're looking at $30,000 over the asking price with the exception of Clayton and Garner, which are closer to 15,000. And then we have our high in Holly Springs of about $45,000 over the list price. And this means that some are going higher and some are going lower. But you can, but across the board of the 28 homes that sold in Holly Spring, the average of those 28 homes was $45,000. So once again, be aggressive when you're putting your offers in. And then when we're looking at the luxury market over 800,000, you can see we have no data in Holly Springs, Clayton, Garner, and Fuquay. And that's just because we didn't have enough homes close in the luxury market. There could have been one, two, zero. Um, and so we didn't want to go ahead and put any of that data out. In Durham, you can see that we've only got $1,000 over the asking price, and that's the average. Um, and in Cary, it's looking more like $75,000. And in Apex, with five closings, we have $155,000 over the list price in Apex. So... Once again, my name is Linda. I'm with eXp Realty, and every single day we get calls from people just like you who are relocating to the area, and they need a little bit of help and a little bit of gu guidance navigating this market, and I am here for you. So just look at the comments below, and you'll see my contact information. Please do not hesitate to reach out. Give me a call, and we will help you in any way that we can. And in the meantime, I will see you next week for the weekly market update. Thank you.